Hello everyone, this is Mike over at schneikyman.tumblr.com or Facebook backslash Schneikyman Cosplay. Anyway, we have SAC anime coming up in exactly four days. And unlike many of my friends, I don't leave anything to the last minute and I'm getting ready to pack right now. So, haha, haha, -ha, and haha. -ha. Anyway, uh, I just wanted to throw things out and uh, give a general example of how I pack and get ready for con. <clears throat> now, the first step, of course, would be deciding your cosplay. Hopefully you've done that by now, but if not, now's the time to kind of figure that out a little bit. So, you know, let's go down our list here. Yeah, okay. No, don't want to cosplay that. Okay. Yeah. Spirit on Friday. Sounds good. Sounds good. Hey, Mel. No? Yeah, what day are you guys going to be cosplaying for Ruby? No, okay, so Saturday, Saturday sound good? Sound good? Okay, all right, good. Alright, alright, see you then. Bye. Alright, so after that grueling effort of deciding which cosplays you know, we want to do and everything, <clears throat> talking to friends and all that sort of stuff, it's been decided that uh, Spirit from Soul Leader on Friday, Torchwick from Ruby on Saturday, and my Outlaw Star cosplay, Gene Starwind, on Sunday. And it's a three day con, so only need three cosplays for me. I'm, I'm not one of those people that does multiple cosplays in one day. I've tried it. I didn't like it. It didn't make it fun. But, <clears throat> so now that I know what cosplays I'm doing, it's time to assemble and pack those cosplays. So, we're going to start with Gene. I'm only going to do one cosplay really here because I think you guys would get pretty bored watching me fold my laundry. But anyway... <clears throat> I go to the store and I get big Ziploc bags. And you can see this one has Jean labeled on it. Now, taking my Jean cosplay, because this cosplay is just pants, a shirt, you know, nothing really fragile or anything, I can just put all of this into the zippy bag. Of course, not all at once because that would just be weird. But, starting with the pants, because these are girls' stretchy, skinny jeans, not like the bulky jeans that I wear, usually, though they are quite comfortable. They will fit into this bag, followed by the Under Armour shirt, the belts, none of this is really all that fragile. Now, you'll notice that bag won't close. That's because there's too much in the bag to close, but that doesn't matter because it's all in one thing and you don't have to worry about anything. As opposed to, say, for instance, my spirit cosplay where it's a suit. You don't put a suit in the zippy bag. But the accoutrement, lock a doll, belt, tie, and all that, can go in the zippy bag, labeled spirit. <clears throat> Thus, it's still all together and organized. 
Now, urgh, we all know that we have clothing that goes on underneath the cosplays. And if you do cosplays like I have this one, each cosplay is going to require different type of undergarments and everything. For instance, with my Outlaw Star cosplay, I'm wearing very tight, stretchy, skinny jeans. Thus, I cannot simply wear boxer briefs underneath them. But I have something for that. Under Armour boxer briefs. Yeah. <clears throat> and in the sense of spirit, he's wearing a suit, he's got some class. Argyle. Very nice. But, so, we gather up the undergarments. It's first say for spirit. I need a t-shirt underneath the suit. Underwear. Socks. Keep it sacked up. Keep it together. Put it in your suitcase together. That way, it's all together, not piled in. <clears throat> uh, then, we have suitcase versus bag. Now, this is a continuing, evolving theory, really, but uh, it pretty much... For me, I've come to realize that if you're taking yourself to a convention, use a suitcase. It's a lot easier. That's all I'm going to say. If there's like two, three people in a car going to a convention, you can use a suitcase. <clears throat> if your car has more than three people in it, use a bag, and if you need to, a small suitcase. To protect things, uh, uh, I tend to use a, a backpack, a big old backpack that I got from Fanime, and uh, I have a Tupperware to hold all like my Assassin's Creed armor stuff and all that. <clears throat> that way you can protect the things that need to be protected, but all your underwear and clothing that really doesn't need to be protected can kind of be shoved into little nicks and crannies, because there's always two or three people in that car that tend to bring these big old suitcases, and next thing you know, everybody has stuff on their laps, and we're not enjoying the car ride. <clears throat> so, suitcase for short trips with less people, but try to think about what everybody else is bringing, and pack in a bag if not. So, let me decide. Oh, and one other thing. This is the one thing I forget all the time, and that is pajamas. You're sharing a hotel room with people, it's kind of good to not be walking around in your underwear a lot of the time. So, don't forget your pajamas. Now, that we have the suitcase packed, you can see it over there, <clears throat> that's all the clothing and everything. Now, toiletries are a good thing. I have 
a bathroom bag. God knows how old this thing is, but I got it for free from Gillette for one of my birthdays, and it does me good. <clears throat> now, I know a lot of people are very inclined to purchase the little bottles, such as this, of shampoo, soap, conditioner, whatnot, but even though I have this, I tend to use these little bottles more. The reason being, I can just refill them from my own shampoo, conditioner, body wash, and all that, and not be spending two, three dollars just to wash my hair for the weekend. <clears throat> also, you know, mouthwash. Now, you can't get past the little tubes of toothpaste. Shaving cream is always a good thing. Q-tips. Now, I know you don't think about it before you go to a convention, but when you're at a convention and when you get home from a convention, you very much realize how much you miss Q-tips. So, Q-tips are a good thing. Toothbrush, razor, fingernail clippers, deodorant, deodorant, deodorant. And whatever extra little things you have. I also have a, a vitamin container that's probably sitting underneath my counter right now. But pretty much bring as much of the comforts of your home bathroom with you as you can in this little case that has a little hooky bit that you can just hang off the towel bar sitting somewhere nearby, keeping it off the counter so that everybody's still free to use the counter space because I always room with three or four women who have lots of makeup and sometimes forget to put away their brushes and whatnot. I'm going to get in trouble for this now, but okay. Anyway, <clears throat> and the last few things would be garbage bags. Uh, I like to bring instant oatmeal sometimes when I remember to. I often forget, but I'm hoping to remember this time because I don't want to spend money on food because I don't have any money. Uh, garbage bags, though. Garbage bags are good because, uh, well, let's say last time at Fanime, we brought a lot of food in, we had a lot of garbage and everything, and we ended up filling the bathtub with garbage before we left. Uh, needless to say, one of my roommates was not too thrilled with that, but it was the best option, and it kept all the garbage in one area at least. Also, the bathtub was separate from the shower, so we were still at the shower while filling the bathtub with garbage. Don't do that. <clears throat> so, garbage bags. And that pretty much makes it all up. Uh, I can't really think of anything more right now, but I've got four more days to remember anything I've forgotten, so if anything comes to mind, I'll let you know. Once again, this is Mike at schnikeyman.tumblr.com, Facebook backslash Schnikeyman Cosplay, and I hope you guys have an awesome convention wherever you are, because I know there's more than just SAC anime going on right now. Uh, and thank you for watching. Have a great day.